Hey everyone, today we're going to show you how easy it is to make a payment through SmartHub. In SmartHub, you have the option to pay using a checking or savings account or a debit or credit card. First, I need to log into SmartHub, so we'll navigate to goindtc.com and click on Bill Pay. I'm going to use the email that I registered with and the password that I had previously created. Under account overview, I can see the amount due and my due date. And if I wanted to, I could also click here to view my bill. So to make my payment, I'm going to click on the green make payment button. Here I can see I don't have any scheduled payments and the system automatically chooses for me the total amount due. However, if I want to pay a different amount, I can choose this edit amount hyperlink. And here I can edit the amount that I wanna make for a payment, put the amount that I specify here, or I can just choose total due, which is what we're gonna to pay today. So once I hit that pay now button, it brings me back to the payment summary and I can choose continue. Here I have the option to pay with a new card or pay with a new bank account. Today I'm going to choose a new card and I can also choose what date I would like to make that payment. That payment can be made today. I do not have the option of the due date because the due date is already passed. And I can also choose other. Now, if I were to enter a date that's past the due date, I'm gonna get a little notification that says that it is past the due date and to please call our office to set up a payment arrangement as services may be subject to late fees and or a disconnection of service if the payment is received after the bill due date. Today, I wanna to make that payment right away so that past due is taken care of. So I'll choose continue. So on the next screen, I'm going to enter my card number. I'm gonna enter my expiration date and enter the three digit verification code on the back of my card. Now, if I want this card to be used for any future payments and not have to enter this information in each time, I can click to save this card and the system will store that information for me. And in the future, I can just select that payment. I'm gonna choose continue here after I have verified my information is correct. And then I get the option to confirm. I can verify my information, the total amount that I wanna make for a payment, the date I want that payment to pull. And if I choose the payment date of today, it's going to pull those funds immediately. Once you're all set with that information, you'll just choose submit, and then you'll receive a payment confirmation. Down here, I can see that a confirmation notification was emailed to the subscribe contacts. And if I want another email address to receive this confirmation, I can enter that here, or I can print out from this page the confirmation. Once I return back to the home screen, I can see that I have no balance due on my account at this time. And it's as easy as that. Now the account is paid in full. I can see that the total due is now zero, and I'll just wait for my next bill to be processed, and I can come out here and do it again. Hope you all have a great day.